Good morning, Modesto. Well, many residents woke up this morning to the sound of tanks and army trucks moving in. This has led some to ask the question, is there something going on, Veronica? That's right, Bob. Hundreds of residents were told to evacuate their homes. The military has cordoned off a 10-mile radius, and we've even heard reports that the president was flown in to make first contact with an alleged thing from another world. Wow! The president here! Hear that? Take that, San Francisco! Ha! For more on this, let's go live to the scene. Yes, Veronica and Bob, this is Enrico Puente, investigative reporter. As you can see, I am at the border of the incident, where the army has set up a roadblock around what I am told is a crater. A pit of some sort, with some thing inside. It's deathly quiet. We're just waiting here, as the moments tick by, for something, anything, to happen. Excellent work, Enrico. Can you tell us anything else? That's great! <laughs> now that is good TV. Bob, the channel is on the blink. Just change it. Yeah, try something tropical and cool. You mean like Monster Beach? Ugh, oh, not bad again. I don't understand. Why can't we talk about Monster Beach? Because, my girl, that is simply pointless. Based on our current situation, it is clear to me that we are never leaving this facility. Any of us. For any reason. Ever. Monsters, guess what? You are leaving this facility. Hoorah! Alright, monsters, listen up. Here's a sit rep. Because of the recent change in our alert status, the President has authorized me to offer you amnesty and a place of your own. In return for a small favor. <gasps> Monster Beach? How about the island of Nihau? In Hawaii. Wait a second. What's the catch, Monger? No catch, fish stick. All you have to do is help us get rid of a hideous alien robot menace that's stomping its way through San Francisco. All right, General. We agree. But not the small island. We want Kauai. Monsters, you've got yourself a deal. So, here's what you're up against. Oh, crud. I knew you'd be pleased. Hey, Drop! Take your sail! Hut! Whoa! Whoa! All right, you monsters, a deal's a deal. Now get out there and do what you do best. I want to see 100% USDA prime choice grade A monstering. Got me? You're up first, Ginormica. Hey! Once and for all, the name is Susan. I am not a monster. And why me? Because between the egomaniacal fish ape, the bug-headed scientist, and the talking sneeze, I'd say the girl with the giant legs wins the cupid doll. Understand? Now get going, pronto! I empathize, Susan, but time is of the essence. Whatever this thing is, it appears to have a force field that is protecting it from conventional attack. You're going to have to try and lead it away from the city. All right, I have the alien robot on my scope. Yeah, skating around on those little honeys should make you an easy target for at the spot. It'll follow you for sure. Wow, you're all hard, General. Look, there it is! The giant eye robot -y, uh, thing! I think he spotted you, Susan! What was your first clue? You can take all these smaller robots. They're about your size. Go on. I'm not entirely sure. An alien probe of some sort. Another path! Save 
but you see, my word, what have they done? All these factories are a wreck. Another robot? Bigger this time! Don't let it stop you! Susan! 
I bet there are all sorts of wonderful things down there. Perfect for my next doomsday device! <laughs> what was that, Doctor? Ah, uh, nothing, General Longer. Nothing. I didn't think so. Hey, enough of this horse talk. Any of you yahoos got a plan? Uh, yes, General, of course. Insectosaurus, position yourself at the bridge and wait for my signal. Skate, Susan! Skate! Skate like your life depends on it! Because it does! Show. 